they would do it. And, um, and I said, oh my God, you know, where is the Ministry of Justice? What I think the breaking point came about, well, I had asked the courts to um, implement the Patch Up the Crack program. I thought this would be a good program. This was in the late 1980s that I came up with this idea. Uh, well, probation was out there, was hollering that uh, they were overstaffed and that um, they needed help. And then my sons, you know, they got placed on probation, and I was informing probation of different things that was happening, and they wasn't doing anything. So uh, I came up with the concept, you know, patch up the crack, because these kids were slipping through. And when I took it to the courts, they told me they did not need it, even though, you know, there were the Commission of Investigators report was mentioned in their report to the governor. Um, Senator Lottenberg thought it was such a good idea, they passed it down to the Attorney General. Uh, newspaper articles, and it was a Middlesex County prosecutor who thought so much of the idea, they passed it down to the two family court judges that sit there, but in the meantime, Exus County said that they did not need it, and all our kids are slipping through the cracks. But the breaking point came is when, what, well, uh, even though they did not need it, they said that they did not need it. Okay, the breaking point was, after I decided, well, I'm not going to just let them tell me they don't need this program. Uh, and I know children can benefit from it. So I would hang around probation, and I would uh, talk to the kids, look, if you want to, want to get your life on track, we're here to help you. And overheard them violating a young man. What got to me mostly was the reason why they was going to violate him for not attending a program that the court had ordered him to do so. The program uh, demand that his parent, his guardian, come with him. And when he said because his grandmother did not come, then I know there's some dysfunctional there, right? And I said, now this boy is going to be arrested because his grandmother would not do it. And normally grandmothers, even though I'm a grandmother and I may get around better than some, but in a lot of cases, when you're taking on his whole, you know, care of grandchildren, you got a burden on you. So, anyway, someone noticed me getting angry. They did not lock the boy up, but I overheard the court date. And I went there that day and I met him. The boy didn't know I even know I existed, and I met the grandmother. And I said to them, I'm your advocate. I'm going to help you. So I goes into court and I tell the judge, you know, I'm his advocate. And I'm going to help you all, right? And judge, mm -hmm, yeah, whatever. So I said, I'm going to let you know everything that he does. So uh, he was ordered to come back in a month. I goes uh, be, uh, uh, about three or four days before the due date came. I faxed over a structure, including what the court had ordered and programs that I felt that he could also benefit from. You know, I had it all laid out. I had who was the director of the programs, what time he was there. I went and met his probation officer. I went to his school. I met the, um, he went to school in the evening. Uh, I met the drug counselor at school and the drug program that the county offered was in the evening. Well, this boy was in school in the evening, so they had a program in the school that addressed drugs. and. I talked with the person in charge of that and said, yes, he will be able to attend that program. I talked with all of his teachers, right? I let him know who I was, let me know everything that he was doing. I went to his home. I met the grandmother. Well, I had already met her, but I saw the layout. I signed him a mentor and the whole nine yard. So he goes back into court to show you the county do not do their job. Uh, the first time I was with him in court, probation was not there. So now 
probation is there, and she's recommending <laughs> that they uh, continue the child on young man on probation because he was doing good in school. Right now. I interrupted and I recommended that he continue on probation also. But the young man had not been doing good in school. In fact, he was suspended as we spoke. I knew this. Probation did not know it. And it's her job to know it. And it's her job to give it, the courts the right information. Okay? And, um, but the schools had contacted me because I had kept in close contact with the courts. Even the grandmother says, you know, you answer me. Pro uh, probation, I call them. If they answer, it'd be weeks of four. And I'm on it lickety split. And this is what's needed. You need to catch it while it's in action. And, you know, the kids at first coming to me thinking that, oh, they're going to get over. But I'm worse than the cops in that sense, you know. <laughs> the, the, the big difference is, I love them. I discipline with love, I care for them, and they feel it, you know. Uh, most people are doing it because they ain't getting paid. I know I told one agency that this boy was involved with, the, I was in charge. And they looked at me like we was ordered by the courts. You know, how could they, I'm be in charge, I said because if the funding stop you, God, I will still be here. And I'm not going to let you set up something that you just may walk off from. That's why I am in charge. And, um, but what got to me most was this young man, he did not, uh, he appreciated my input, but it's not easy to overcome or to get over adjusting to a new lifestyle and there were some problems and if the court had a more input I believe that we could have a, um, been more successful even though we were successful to this day you know because a young man did graduate from high school this past year which would have been uh, 2006 but um, there were infractions in his behavior and I wrote to courts to let him know, go bring him back in, let him know we're not playing. And you would think that the judge would have, but the complaints I had against this young man was he um, kicked his grandmother's door down, mm. he uh, wasn't keeping his curfew, uh, it was a few other things, mm. and the main thing that he was suspended from school this time his involvement with a BB gun, which is a felony. You know, he did not bring the BB gun.